everyone. Thank you for inviting me to come. Oh, is this okay? Maybe that. Yeah, okay. How's that? I can handle it, yeah. I am a Jew. I am speaking on behalf of Independent Jewish Voices. We are a grassroots organization grounded in Jewish tradition, which is Tikkun Olam, Hebrew for repairing the world. We oppose all forms of racism and advocate for justice and peace and equality and human rights for all in Israel, Palestine. I am very much opposed to the occupation. A few years ago, together with my Israeli family, I traveled very briefly in the West Bank and saw the devastation there. I know that it is much worse in Gaza. My family in Israel, Palestine has also suffered during the last month. One part of my family lives in Kibbutz Nirim on the Gaza border. They were taken prisoner by Hamas. One person was killed. Even though Hamas was responsible, I blame the Israeli government for creating the conditions that caused that to happen. <laughs> For decades, uh, civilians in Gaza have been subjected to routine massacres, restrictions on electricity, medical attention, water, facing faced bombings, and lived under a suffocating a blockade. In the past year, Palestinians have been targeted by Israel's most right-wing government in its history, which has escalated its attacks against them. Shame. Shame. I ask you to pressure our government and Prime Minister Trudeau to call for an immediate ceasefire. I ask you also to press the people around you and everyone you know to join you in calling a ceasefire. We can't allow our governments to shirk its responsibility to bring halt, a halt to these deaths. What is happening ramps up unbearable hurt and loss and devastation on both sides. Loss of lives, of loved ones. What is happening now creates more reasons to grieve, more reasons to pressure for revenge. But revenge is not the answer. I understand how sharp is the desire for revenge. But revenge triggers more revenge. We all want our kids to grow up strong and healthy and without fear. We will not forget, but revenge just passes on hate to the next generation. I ask you all to hug your kids, to do everything you can to make possible a world that accepts all of us and makes it possible for all of us to thrive. We must, each of us, pledge not to stoke the fires of hate, to save our kids from carrying on this devastating loss of life to the next generation, to be part of a movement to work for a truly just peace. A tall order, I know, but this is what we must do to be part of creating a world that welcomes and supports all of us and every one of us and all our kids every day that all of us may walk in peace shalom salam peace Woo